D. I'm just kidding, that's not me. No. Hey, so, um, no, I was flying out here. It's actually my first time ever being on an airplane. Woo! Yeah, thank you, thank you. It was great. Um, I was standing in line and some guy tested my junk. It was cool. I was like, yeah, that feels great. So, but. No, so I get on the airline and um, the stewardess comes walking by and she's like offering food. So I, um, I did something I norm normally wouldn't do because I was hungry at the time and uh, I ordered airplane food. How come nobody warned me about this stuff? thought it was great. It's like the best thing I ever had in my life. I'm, I'm addicted. So um, yeah, now I'm buying plane tickets just to have lunch. I can't afford that. So the other day I was driving, it was about 2 in the morning, and um, I'm on my way to a meeting. Um, there's no other cars on the road. And I get stopped at this red light. I mean, seriously, there's nobody coming the other way. But um, I was there, this is not a joke. I was there for probably five minutes. No, but it was awesome because I got to text all the people who were texting me like while I was driving. Is great because I'm so popular and stuff. But um, yeah, so no, I get done texting and the light's still red and I'm like, I'm just going for it. I'm going for it. So I went through the light and of course, right over there, there's this cop and I'm like, oh, oh goodness, like, come on. You know, like, could it get any better than this? Could the night, you know, be a, be a better night? And he comes up to me and he's just like, oh, hey, bro, how's it going? Oh my gosh. You know, I pulled you over and I was like, yeah, that light was red. And he's like, yeah, that was the reddest light I've ever seen. But, um, you know, if you wouldn't have ran that red light, I wouldn't have pulled you over. And I was like, yeah, 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 I gotcha. And, uh, you know, we, we, we uh, shot the bowl for, you know, a good couple minutes. And, you know, a few minutes later, we were, at, we were having coffee. So what's with girls and overreacting? I mean, over, like, the smallest things, like leaving the toilet seat down or not picking up bird seed like she asked forgetting our anniversary again like come on no so like my girlfriend got mad at me last week and it was like I was like Psh, you know how that is how that goes <laughs> so yeah we had to sit down and talk forever and it was it was good our you know we talked it out sat down um, uh, to the microphone cords anyways, gosh, like, wireless internet, why can't I get a friggin' wireless microphone? But no, so we talked it out, and, uh, yeah, things have never been better. So yeah, I think, um, I think I'm just gonna forget our anniversary every week. No, so my girlfriend took me to meet the in-laws. We've all been there, right? No, so it turns out my, uh, father-in-law, he's actually a pretty, pretty funny guy. No, he tell he he tells me, yeah. So today I went to the doctor and uh, he um, he gave me diabetes. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, since that's actually a disease, yeah. And I have turkey pox. Come on, Gramps. But um, no, he's a he's a funny guy. He's got like this running joke with me where he he uh, he'll tell me that he hates my guts and um, no one time he even sat me down like. Sit down, punk. And he's like, if you ever ask my daughter to marry you, I'm going to rip your face off. And he had the most stern look I've ever seen in my life. And I looked up at him and I was like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. And uh, you got you to gotta know his sense of humor to think it's funny. So a guy walks into a drum set. <laughs> Guess that one went right over your heads. So I'll have to uh, dumb down the rest of these jokes for you guys. No, so that's when I told him, that's not a hot tub, that's my wife. Boo! <laughs> you guys are so dumb. I told the punchline and he didn't even laugh. Come on, what is this, amateur crowd night? <laughs> no, 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 no. So I got, okay, this next joke is seriously the best. You guys better get ready because this is probably the best joke I've ever heard in my entire life. Alright, so when I was a kid, I was probably five years old and I was um, 
my dad took me to the fair, and I was so excited because I'd never been to the fair before, and I really like clowns. I know a lot of you out there are probably like quivering, like, ugh, clowns. Those guys are freaky, right? No, I, as a five-year-old kid, I loved clowns, and so I go to the circus, and we're there, and um, the, the clown is doing his show, and he's like, hey, I need a volunteer from the audience, and there's like little me over there, like, yeah, I'll do it. And he calls me up, and I'm like, so excited, this is my chance, and I get up there, and, and the clown's like, okay, I need you to hold this stick. And so I'm holding it, and I'm clutching it as tight as I can, and he's like, Look everyone, I got a sucker on a stick! And um... Psh, what the freak is he talking about? I have no idea. Anyways, so like, years later, you know, I um... I decided, hey, I'm gonna take my son to the fair. I love the fair, I love clowns, I still love clowns. You know, a long time ago there was this joke. I totally forgot about it, I didn't even know what the joke meant, but now I get to the circus, and um, I, I'm there with my son, and the clown, the circus is like, hey, I need a volunteer to come up here, and so I'm, yeah, me, 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 and I get up on the stage, and he hands me a stick, and he says, I need you to hold this, and I'm like, all right, I can do that, and I grab the stick, and he's like, hey, look, everybody, I got a sucker on a stick, and the crowd just starts laughing, and this, and that's when I look over at the clown, and I'm like, you, can't believe you got me with that one again, I totally forgot about this, and no, so I go home, and then, you know, I, I, uh, I despise the circus, so I'm like, I'm never coming back. And then I go, and I'm a grandpa now, and I'm taking my grandkids to the circus, and I'm like, you guys are going to love the clowns. They're just amazing. And so we get there, and my grandkids are there, and I'm like, you know, I take them to the clown show, and the clown's like, I need a volunteer to come up. And so I'm like, yeah, I'll come up. And uh, yeah, so I get up there on stage, and um, the guy hands me a stick. The clown hands it to me, and he's like, Hey, look, everybody, I got a sucker on a stick. And I look at the clown. This is, this is 100% serious. This is exactly what I did. I looked at him square in the face, and I said, Screw you, clown. That's, that's, that's funny, right? <laughs> Guys, like, um, yeah, um, well, anyways, that's all I got for you. I wish I could say that this was a great crowd and that I could thank you, but no, this was terrible. You guys are ridiculous. So anyways, I'm out of here.